Sorry, mate. You gotta come down. You all right? Let's go. Let's ride with that. Nobody. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's go. There we go. You're on. You're on. You're on. There we go. There we go, little man. You happy? You going back to the girls? <laughs> Don't you? It wasn't that hard. Yeah. I'll yeah. after you, okay. Chris, to get down. Okay. Hey, Baz. I'm sorry, mate. Man to man, I'm, so, I'm sorry we had to do this. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. After everything we'd been through, I, I talked Baz down, we bonded in the cherry picker, I thought everything was okay. Then Baz took a cheap shot. Just when you think you can trust your mates. I'll hand him over to Laura, cos now's probably the time I tell you he doesn't like boys. <laughs> well, he's about to go and be reintroduced to some girls, I think, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. No, I think we might put him into his bachelor party. I think the four <laughs> girls might have been too much for him last night. So this is the safe zone. It is. No definitely. girls can enter? Have no we girls, that? yep. No girls ever come in here. This is his place to himself. I took one for the team. I know you meant to climb, but that was getting a bit ridiculous. Just keep it this high, huh? See you, buddy. Staff have put the traumatised baby in with another orphan rhino. Hey, little one. Hey. hey you had a tough time, didn't you? Don't be spooked. You, you are the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> you are just a little baby, aren't you? He's a lucky baby, hey? And they're so reliant on their mothers, hey? For about the first two years of life, that's why it's so tragic when we lose one. He is the epitome of Q, but his life so far is far from it. His mother was killed, poached, for her horn, which would sell for up to a quarter of a million dollars on the black market. W would he have gone through quite a lot of emotional stress over, over yeah, seeing his mother killed? Yeah, it's not so much seeing the mother killed, it's just all of a sudden, they're so dependent on their mothers and their milk is very specific. Oh, wow, wow. And so when they lose their mothers to something sudden like poaching, yeah. it's really traumatic for them, physiologically especially, because that, yeah. that, that support she gives and that milk is so, so important. If you don't find these guys really quickly, you know, they get taken by predators and... Yeah. So he was incredibly lucky. Do you know what the story is with his kind of big brother here? Oh, uh, Nicky. Nicky actually has cataracts, so technically he's blind. He's six months old. And they just don't do so well, especially when they're babies and they're blind. Mm. You really need to, to pull them and hand rear them. His story's a bit happier. He's not a victim of poaching like this one, you know. Mm. They're yeah. a funny team, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, it's sad that they've had to come together, yeah. but, but together they're, they're stronger, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they are, absolutely. And they'll spend their whole lives together, you know? Mm. These two will know each other. The next 45 years. Looking all right? Yeah. I mean, just... Very nice. Oh. How's that? Back at Bondi, Bella is adjusting to the demands of motherhood. She just looks a bit overwhelmed by them, but I guess the, the natural process didn't occur. She didn't have to strain for a few hours to deliver the pups and, and be introduced to each one one at a time. She's had to come out of anaesthetic here and just be overwhelmed. And she doesn't know where they come from. So, Bella, I hate to say it, it is like looking in the mirror. <laughs> she seems relaxed when they drink from it, which is great, but she just needs to recognise that smell, lick them a few times, and, and that bond will develop. Bella's now ready to go home. Do you think there's any chance that any one of these could ever be as popular as she is with you? No, no, yeah, never. Nobody will replace Bella. I was always pretty sure that Bella meant a lot to John, but then when you see Bella in the front seat, with John, knowing the wife normally sits in the back, you've got to realise that, that dog means a lot to John. Yeah. Olivia and Yuki have only had their new baby for two weeks. You do get scared, but just want to make sure that's nothing serious. Let's have a better look at your face now. I know. My goodness, you look ridiculous. She's all swollen around the eyes. You can barely open the eyes and the lips. So she's got little hives under her ears. So what she may have done is she's either come into contact with something like uh, grass or, <coughs> or some sort of plant that's caused an allergic reaction, or she may have had an insect on her nose and has just caused her to become itchy and swollen all over. No, no. This is a 
pretty awful feeling. I know from people who have allergic reactions, you feel itchy, you feel scratchy in your throat, when your eyes swell up, you, you can barely see, and she just wants to rip her skin off, so she's feeling absolutely awful. And so what happened to Boots? Uh, Boots actually came all the way down from the Madura Pound. He hitchhiked his way. Oh, there you go, Boots. He's a pound goat. He's a pound goat. How did he end up in the pound? Uh, well, apparently he was on the side of the road, yeah. pound up there on the highway, and um, he was taken to the local pound. <laughs> you're cheeky. Yeah, you're cheeky, aren't you? Um, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> After playing by the rules initially, all hell breaks loose. Bottles are not for pigs right now. Especially, oh, don't bite. You cannot do that. You're playing dirty now. You are playing dirty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the piglets, the kids, the lambs realise that in an orphanage, there are no rules. It is every man for himself. <laughs> Officially the hardest job of the day. Oh, yes. You got me, didn't you? Back in Sydney, SASH emergency vet Lisa Chimes is about to make a very important house call. Yes, good boy, sit. But first, Lisa and her husband Brad have some exciting news to share with their two dogs, Lucas and Nelson. All right, so we're having a baby. You're going to be getting a brother or sister. Unusual reaction. <laughs> You're going to be helping! You are! You are! I'm just excited for a human baby to be coming home instead of you bringing ducks home. Look what I've got! This may be Lisa and Brad's first pregnancy, but 12 months ago they had a trial run parenting a different type of baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, Brad! Right. <laughs> Brad, what are you doing? You're meant to be watching them. I thought it would be good practice for him, for the human child that is now imminent. Yeah. Special dogs get special things. And this <laughs> is the solution to your problem. You are joking, aren't you? See, in the animal world, being high up implies dominance. That's why chihuahuas love being in those handbags. There's a saying in the dog world that a happy dog is a dog with a view. If you can imagine being splodged, down here, you've got high walls around you, a slice of sky up the top. Every single time a plane flew over, he howled at the sky. In his mind, those people, those machines could be conspiring against him. So he wants to know what's going on. He doesn't have separation anxiety, he's got scenery anxiety. He's frustrated because he can't see the world, so he goes out into the world to discover it for himself. This will work. Or it should. Come. There you go. <laughs> 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 Looks pretty comfortable up there. Is that a smile, Spud? I did This is nothing like what I expected. I expected something that was, you know, containing, barricades, stopping him getting out, closing him in. This is, uh, this is liberating him. Thank you very much, Chris. My That's pleasure. Awesome. No worries at all. It's just like a dog, really. Mm, well, it probably doesn't shake itself at the end of it. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Look at it. We really target the smelly spots, which is around the, the face and the ears, and also around the back end, too. He's a bit frightened there. So, I guess part two is a bit of calf cologne. So, the Vicks Vapor Up. Dogs just hate this smell, it's quite a powerful odour. So right now, we have our big test. I'm hoping the smell is going to override that need of snitzels to have company and that need of snitzels to find those pheromones. Righto, Harry, release the beast. <laughs> At the farm, Catherine and Scott are about to find out if Chris's soap and Vic solution will stop schnitzel obsessing over newborn calves. Nowhere to go, schnitzel. He does not like that. <laughs> schnitzel. Come to me, I did this to you. Taking <laughs> away your mate. Buy you want to be a people dog now, do you? Buy it in schnitzel. One more sniff. Oh. He's a rotten bugger, isn't he? You know, he's ruined it. Go on, Stitzel. What about your friend? There you go. Success. 
As for the calves, peace at last. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.